Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Hernando and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Now in today's video, we are going to be focusing over on the animals of GTA 5. Now, the main one we're going to be focusing on are the dogs because they look like they have a bunch of uh, interesting little things that I myself didn't really know about since a couple of days ago and some paranormal activity actions going around with them. So hopefully today's video will be quite an interesting one for you guys to go ahead and learn about. And before we go ahead and get that started up, I was just wondering if you people can be ever so nice to support the video with that blue thumbs up. You know, it just takes a quick second or two out your day and it will really, really help me out. So if you guys can, you know, Try to go ahead and uh, click that blue thumbs up button and try to get this video to over 420 blue thumbs up. Then my god dude you are the true MVP. And as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking you. I will hate it if you missed out any of my brand new videos. But with that being said let's go on ahead and get things started up. Alrighty folks, so we're going to be starting off with a very tragic easter egg of some sort. And it's really funny that I actually say that. You know, we're playing Grand Theft Auto, a video game where you basically mold down pedestrians and animals and all this type of stuff without feeling anything whatsoever. But, you know, this one right here might touch your heart. If you guys go all the way towards the graveyard right here, eventually you're going to see yourself a little terrier just walking on by. Now, it's kind of funny because the dog only spawns around here at a certain time. If you guys want to come here at noon, you should see him just walking around this little sidewalk right here. Just like the other animals you see just roaming around the streets of Los Santos, they're basically there just to make the world look more alive and for aesthetic reasons. But it looks like this dog serves a different purpose. Now, if you guys go on ahead and just follow him towards his spot that he's going towards, he actually leads you towards a destination. And it's kind of funny because, you know, you follow other things around the map they just keep going on a loop but no it looks like this dog actually is heading towards a certain spot that he really wants to showcase so if you guys keep going and going and going eventually he's just gonna go ahead and stop by one of the tombstones and it's kind of interesting because you're kind of asking yourself hmm what is this supposed to mean right here well it looks like the dog is coming here to pay some respect for the lost owner that he used to have so it's kind of a sad event, you guys can see that the dog is just here sitting down, wagging his tail, and as well we can see that there is a bouquet of flowers. It's a very very strange and sad event. Now if we go ahead and try to read what's written on the tombstone, not much information is actually written on it. Right here the only thing that we can actually see, it says, in loving memory, and that's it. That's pretty much it. No owner name nothing that's just pretty much it and right here we're just pretty much left out in the loop wondering what exactly does this all mean well it looks like this actually has a story towards it now rockstar actually took some inspiration from a tale that happened long long time ago and i guess rockstar has implemented into this game as a small little easter egg but the real story behind this is the dog is known as bobby now, Bobby right here is a Sky Terrier who became known in the 19th century of Edinburgh for supposedly spending 14 years guarding the grave of his owner until he died himself on January 4, 1872. Now, the story continues to be well known in Scotland through several books and films and all that type of stuff. He belonged to a person known as John Gray who worked for the Edinburgh City Police as a night watchman. Now, when John Gray died, he was buried at the graveyard. So, when the dog found out, Bobby then became known locally spending the rest of his life sitting on his master's grave. Now, sometime later in 1867, there was a director of the Scottish Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals who paid for Bobby's license and gave the dog a collar now in the Museum of Edinburgh. Now, a year later, after everybody started knowing about this event, there was a bunch of people who became very, very interested in the story, and they actually kind of respected the dog for doing this. So, they built a statue of the dog himself, and everybody basically can go ahead and see it and admire the statue of the dog, you know, devotion and, you know, love towards its owner so, so freaking much. And it's kind of a very beautiful story. 
and right here you guys can see that the dog was very well respected in Scotland. Now how exactly this made its way over to GTA 5 is the fact that Rockstar North is the primary developer of all the Grand Theft Auto series. And where exactly is Rockstar North located at? Well, it's in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is the same exact place where the whole story actually happened at. And I guess since this place is literally right next to Rockstar's headquarters, they went ahead and introduced this easter egg in GTA 5. And speaking of dogs, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know about another event in the game itself in relations towards a ghost dog spirit. So it looks like Franklin isn't the only person who has a dog because it looks like Michael owned one at some point before the story mode even was a thing. But now we're going to be focusing over towards these pictures. You can find these things lying around on the tables and desks around the area of Michael's house. But of course, if you guys actually pay attention to them, they actually tell you that Michael used to be a cool friendly guy back in the day. Now, if you guys travel to this table specifically, you guys will notice that Michael has a picture of a dog. Now, it's only as if Michael used to own a pet himself. Now, if you guys go on ahead and travel towards the internet on the cell phone and go towards his website right here, eventually, if you guys click on want to play God, you will see this image right here. So as we can see, there is a family and there's also a dog right there. If we paid attention to the earlier pictures that I showcased, one of the images was another family that Michael was just there chilling with. As you can see, there is Michael, Amanda, and a man and a woman. Now, the man and a woman right there is the same family that we saw right here on this website. So, my guess here is that Michael at some point donated the dog over to this family. If you guys want to go ahead and know exactly what happened to the dog next. Well, if you click this button, basically the whole family is uh, dead. Now, since the DeSantos family was close friends with this, you know, family right here, I guess this contributed over towards Michael's insanity. You know how Michael is kind of, uh, you know, fucked up in the head since he does so much crime and killing that, you know, maybe the death of the people that actually was close towards him kind of messed up his head a little bit, which makes him the character that he is now in GTA 5. But as you guys saw from that image right there, everyone in that family, including Michael's old dog that he used to have, is now completely dead. And you will think that's the end of that. But no, that's not the case because the dog actually makes a return into the game itself. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree? But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. You wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro! <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool ass dog you got, homie. What dog? <sighs> that dog that saved your, saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? So from the beginning of the encounter with the dog, we learned that Franklin can understand the dog's barking. I mean, this is nothing new actually, as Franklin is known to be able to communicate with animals, mostly dogs, as we can see him do that countless times with Chop. It does say in the GTA wiki that 
Franklin has some type of affiliation with animals giving him the abilities to understand them. So moving on, the dog then leads Franklin to Dom who is stuck in a tree and requires help. Now after finding Dom, Franklin starts acknowledging that the dog is smart and praises Dom for having such a cool dog. However, Dom then reveals to Franklin that he has no dog and that he hasn't seen any dog whatsoever. So then after that, you know, Franklin is kind of startled and he starts looking around to see if the dog is there. But actually the dog disappeared and he was the only one able to see it. So this basically means that the dog didn't really exist. It was actually a ghost dog. And it's kind of funny because as you guys saw from the earlier image of where the dog actually died at, it was around the hills or mountainside of GTA 5. So I guess the spirit of the dog wanders around the mountainside of GTA 5 trying to help people who do get in trouble or stuck in trees like Dom. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a blue thumbs up if you guys liked the video and as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out and stay frosty.